In today's video, we're opening up the worst Yu-Gi-Oh products ever made. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic probably not epic video honestly this is probably going to be a pretty awful video so if you're interested in awful content make sure to stay on this video because you are going to be happy and the reason this is going to be awful is because we're doing a little versus battle between the two mystery power cubes now if you don't know about these mystery power cubes you might look at them and think wow a stardust starlight red eyes black or red eyes dark dragoon starlight we got a 10k dragon not reprinted yet but the astral utopia is coming great awesome okay but moving Moving on, Dark Magician Girl Ghost Shirt. Wow, these are really awesome items. What's so bad about these? Well, you're probably not gonna get those. These, I have never actually pulled a good card out of a Mystery Power Cube. They are pretty bad products, probably the worst products. There's one product that might probably edge these out and it's those little, you know, we opened them before the blisters with the 20 cards in them and you basically get a bunch of bulk and that's it. These you at least do get some packs. Okay, maybe not here. I don't know if you get packs there. So this is like a bigger version of those other ones. So maybe it doesn't even edge these out. These are really, really terrible. We're going to be opening them up and then we're going to throw in a mystery box, which this isn't one of like the worst product. I mean, it's not awesome, but it is a okay product just so we have like at least something interesting going on in this video. You know, not all mystery power cubes, you know, but that's the point of the video. Also, we'll be giving away all these cards. Hopefully they're not the worst ever that we're giving away. That's why I also have the mystery box. So you guys have something exciting to look forward to. Maybe one of those pins like a blue eyes. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Is this the worst Yu-Gi-Oh product of all time? If not, give me a, a one down below, like maybe those 20 pack blisters or, or 20 card blisters, I should say. Or if there's something I haven't mentioned, let me know because maybe I want to open it. Okay, just for, you know, sanity's sake, we're going to start off with this just so we at least have something like uh, sort of okay. There's a couple booster boxes and a pin in here. Let's open this up and then we're going to get into the worst products over uh, ever over. Worst products over. I really can't talk right now. The mystery power box and mystery power cube. Look, these are some terrible, terrible products. That is for sure, but I will say they are great for me because I get to make a lot of content about these things. If it weren't for these, there would be a lot less videos about Walmart probably. Okay, let's open this up, see what we can get. First, we have a pin, if I can find it. Is it between the packs? Where, there it is, between the packs. Ooh, the red eyes, that's a pretty cool one. All right, something for the giveaway. Thank goodness there's something in here that you guys might want. The special edition red eyes pin cube. I don't know what that means. Is it like the company? I don't know. Two packs, let's see what we get. We get a, whoa, a photon shockwave. Okay, so much for crappy uh, items. That is a pretty nice pack right there. Okay, if we get a ghost, look, mystery pack. Remember, you guys remember the ghost rare? Jarvis, I'm talking to you. You guys remember the ghost rare? What was the ghost rare I got out of a mystery pack? Uh, this will be a little bit different because we would actually pull it. I'm gonna be kind of be sad though if we have to give this away, but it would also be awesome for you guys. Goblin Pinhole Squad. I don't know the, the pack trick, so I just did three. Watt Cobra, Sin Malfunction. We have the Poisonous Winds. Road Nut! The Road Nut has been bold. Oh my, what a name. Evatile, One Day of Peace. We have Evelzar Pelta. And finally, an Ultimate Rare! Wind Up Kitten! One back magic out of a mystery box. Uh, this fits the uh, the worst opening ever. Not, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. We're pulling ultimate rares out of one pack. This is not what was supposed to happen. Wind up kitten ulti. Let's go. That is amazing. Not a ghost rare, but hey, still really, really exciting. Ultimate rare. Okay, you, my friend, have come in clutch. And speaking of friends, we have a Dark Saviors. Okay, not as exciting, but still. Wow. If we can get some uh, Sky Striker stuff, some of that stuff is pretty valuable out of here. So, like 20 bucks ish stuff like that i'm gonna do one of the back i think it isn't one of the backs or you know just to fix that we'll do that we have the uh fur hires okay bravo fighter for hire a lot of fur hires there's a steel strategist for hire okay this could be the secret okay area zero and i was right it was at the back vampire's desire probably not what we're looking for but hey that was an amazing ultimate rare pull. All right, now for what we're actually here for, uh, that was probably more exciting than what we're about to see because these are probably gonna be awful, but if we actually get a good card out of here, I will go crazy because I do not expect it at all. Because like when you're opening a pack, you're like, there is a small chance I pull something crazy. So you're like, you know, you're excited and like freak out and stuff, but then you're like, well, I mean, it was, you know, supposed to happen, it could happen. This is like getting something out of here would be like pulling an error pack. It'd be that exciting because it's like, wait, did they accidentally put this in here? There's actually a good card. This is probably the worst one. I think this one might be a little better. We'll find out i don't know We're, we can we can judge as we go maybe we can have a value on the screen they're probably both gonna end at zero but if something gets to one dollar i guess that could put them ahead okay we have a uh, okay foreign starter deck kaiba cards very cool master and expert i think in the name is very cool looking card uh magic remover we have a ryukishin not power just ryukishin 
one and eight okay okay those are cool old cards but like you know they're foreign too so like they're not even english unfortunately charge the dark world banquet of millions oh master duel anybody anybody remember that okay you have the uh cosmic slicer i almost want to say duel links classic me okay that is yeah great cards there hey look guys some value a top loader is it bent no it's just okay i was about to say if it's cracked i'm gonna be angry because this is the best value we've gotten so far is this really it man is this really all the cards this was ten dollars ten dollars for this for 40 cards is there anything in here okay oh look our rares they're gold rares they're not even regular rares we have a uh okay five gold rares wow outstanding dog mary wow these are man yeah that oh more rares look we got bonuses Guys, we got seven, eight. Oh, they get the error pack. They give us a bunch of rares, which are basically commons because they're from, uh, they're from, oh, sassy. Actually, that's a real rare. They're normally from like collector rare sets, which makes them commons. Okay. Error pack, everybody. We got Goki Pole using the Pecanio Moth deck. Very amazing. Uh, error pack. They give us too many rares. Very amazing. But I'm pretty sure they're all with $0. You, my friend, are not worth the money. If you guys ever see these at Walmart, do not buy them. It was funny because when I bought these in that Walmart vlog video, the fan who I met there, it was like, why is someone buying the cubes? And that's why he recognized me. He was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. All right. On to the second mystery power cube. I don't know why there's power in the name. There's no power involved. Like, there's no power. It's so bad. These at least do have one boost pack one mystery item three duelist packs three bonus foreign packs and then they have the random cards so these also cost 20 bucks so they cost like twice as much i think will there be any value in here they have twice the chance at 20 dollars over 10 dollars to get one dollar worth of value let's do a just kind of try to do this without spoiling it kind of hard to do okay there we go okay star packs so they give you star packs out of here uh yeah these are not good packs but maybe maybe we'll put something i don't know who knows we have the uh I don't even know what that is. We got the pixelator. We have the link. Okay. Oh, these are foreign. That's why I can't read them. Okay. Camera stopped for a second, but it's just star pack guys. You didn't miss anything. You know, it's a mystery power cube. Worst opening ever. Worst opening ever had to include our camera stopping and missing, you know, us open the pack that just kind of fits into the theme today. So it's perfect. Hopefully it doesn't stop again. I'm going to be trying to keep an eye on it. I don't know if I bumped it or what happened there interesting okay let's keep going let's see what we can get we have the uh samurai and pianissimo okay more garbage okay back to what we are doing which is grabbing a legendary duel synchro storm at least first dead we'll take that ghost rare baron i mean baron's still gonna be worth a little bit even with the reprint so we would take it we have a quill pin noble knight of joan speed recovery Oh, and just a barrel canary. All right. Nothing awesome right there. What else do we have? We have a legendary duel. Okay, this is pretty cool. Magical here. A lot. I remember now we open one of these. Light edition. Really? You can't even give us a regular legendary duelist. They say they're going to give you three legendary duelist packs. They give you freaking light edition. A light edition. Man, I like, I, okay, the word scam is overused nowadays. I got to say it, but that's that's pretty messed up. That's that's deceptive right there. Like, ooh, legendary duelist. I'm going to get a five card legendary duelist pack, not a freaking three card legendary duelist pack. A little deceptive there. Okay, you guys can see that Rota back there. A little spoiler. We have a magician's rot. That's a great card. Uh, Dark Magician Girl. Okay, pretty good. That was actually a pretty good three-card pack. Not bad. Magician's Rod is actually a fantastic card for that deck. Uh, the Dark Magician deck. Um, we have another Light Edition. The Light Edition makes me mad. I'm not going to lie. Are you kidding me? You're going to give us a three-card pack? Like, these are... It's impossible to pull foils out of these three-card packs. Not, like, literally, but, like, it's so hard. Like, it is ridiculously hard. Future Drive. I, like... I don't think I've ever pulled a foil out of one. Maybe, like, a Super or something one time. But, like, a Magician Souls... I mean, short printed in regular packs. You're not going to freaking pull that out of there. Okay, let's see. We have a... Uh, Oh, that's actually a decent card. Okay. We got a Rota there. Let's get that out of there. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to pull this up here just so I don't spoil it for you guys. I don't want to look either. I'm looking away, looking away. Okay. We have a Dawn of Majesty. If we pull a Starlight Stardust out of here, that'd be hilarious because it's on the front of the other cube. That would be pretty epic. I, I would be down for that. Magic Key, we have the uh, DDD. I would be okay with any Starlight, to be honest, even though the Starlight Stardust would be very awesome. We have a Super Rare, super rare Dino Wrestler. Man, I can't talk. Worst video ever. All right, is there anything else in here? Is it just this bonus item? We have... Oh, no, this is the cool thing. Yeah, they give me the thing. Okay, should I open this? I, I'm opening it. Yeah, okay. You guys can wear it, though, whenever you get it. It's going to be epic. I gotta open this. What is it going to be? Last time we got the Yugi one, right? I love this, actually. This is my favorite thing. Yeah, easily the best item from the cube. Which one did we get? Okay, here's our here's our chain. I'm going to put it behind this so it doesn't spoil it. This poster is really cool. Look at that. And then flip it over. Don't don't uh, 
show you guys what we got. Okay, which one do I want? Exodia would be awesome. Blue Eyes, obviously. I want one of those. Those would be cool. Dark Magician, one of those three. Dark Magician Girl! All right! All right, guys. I know you guys are going to be excited about this one. The DMG Chain. Barack and the DMG Chain. Let's go. That is super, super cool. Okay, that's a nice pickup there. All right, now I think we still have a few cards left that we have to grab out of here are 20 bulk cards that they gave us. Or are they bulk? Is there a Starlight Rare in here? Let's find out. We have Machine Dupe. There's our three uh, rares right there. We have Dinomorphia Brutes. Okay, Clear New World. Can we get some crazy Kai's on the Hidden Star? Come on, give us a Starlight Rare. Probably not. I think I would be able to tell over here, but uh, Ghost Share, anybody? Gunk and Suship Shari. Very nice. Despian Tragedy. But there's, ooh, we have the Margin Training. The Solar Swallow, very weird. A Swallow, oh, Sword Soul Blackout, good card. We have Threshold Borg and the Ursartic Drytron. All right, so it looks like we didn't get anything, but what we did get is the Dark Magician Girl. If you guys enjoyed the worst video I've ever made, make sure to subscribe for more awful content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Macycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Shazam Yusuf, aka Cobra Kai, Orgad Levin, and Entai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.